Before an appreciative audience in Madrid, the Argentine billiard ace Carreras demonstrates some of the amazing tricks in his repertoire. Watch this amazing little maneuver. He covers a lot of ground with this one. They can hardly believe their eyes, which is Senor Carreras' cue to try another novelty number on his astounded audience. The senor recently was proclaimed world billiard champion here in Spain, and nobody watching him in action today will quibble about that. Carreras exerts a magnetic influence on the little white ball. When it's done moving away from the Argentinian wizard, it just can't resist coming back again. Of course, it's in no great hurry. Yes, it was a big year in sport. Never were so many spectators thrilled and chilled by so much sporting excitement dished up red hot by so many top-notch teams and individual stars. Boxing had its share of fans, its share of flying fists and action-packed climaxes. For some, the trail led to fame and title. For others, it was a rocky road to defeat. Big news of the year was the meteoric rise to the heavyweight title of Ezard Charles, who climbed to the top over the faltering Lewis. They're off, was the cry that brought cheers to racing fans and brought new names to the winner's circle in the sport of kings. And one of the brightest names of 1950 was Hill Prince, Christopher Chenery's fleet three-year-old. First in the Preakness, second in the Derby, winner of the Wood Memorial and the Withers Mile, Hill Prince was named Horse of the Year. There were thrills, too, at Aintree, where England's big race of the year, the Grand National Steeplechase, had more than its usual quota of spine-tingling, bone-bruising spills. Many started, few finished this grueling test of man and mount. Victory was in the balance till the very last jump. Two big stories of the year. The Yankees wrote the first one. Again, they won the American League pennant. Baseball's second big story concerned Commissioner Happy Chandler and the surprise vote of the club owners at year's end not to renew his contract. Baseball said to Happy Chandler, you're out. The big story in basketball was written in capital letters by the Beavers of City College. The speedy, sharp-shooting cagers from New York sent the blood pressure of their fans soaring as they swept to victory over the top teams of the nation. The Beavers won the National Invitation Tournament, the National Collegiate, to hit a jackpot unprecedented in basketball. 1950 will long be remembered by coach Nat Holman and his eager Beavers from CCNY.